All right, welcome back everybody to another episode on the fan server. What is this block doing here, I wonder? That's an ash stone. Someone's pranking me. Mm -hmm. How's everybody doing today? Are you good? No, no? Well, cheer up, buddy. You'll be, you'll be feeling better watching this video, I'm sure. Uh, I want to say, first of all, thank you so much for your likes. Thank you so much for your feedback. You guys are loving this series, by, by, by the comments at least. You're, you're thinking this is a really good idea. I got some really good suggestions, so thank you for your likes. Keep them coming, keep liking the videos, keep, keep commenting. It really does mean everything. Uh, I wanted to point that out. Check this out, though. Did we build this? Mm -hmm, we did. Our beginning of the Etho-inspired storage room with some cool functions behind it. But I gotta be honest with you guys, I feel, I feel like I betrayed you a little bit. Um, I had such a good idea for doing a sorting system with Steve's uh, factory manager. But, as some of you pointed out, it is going to be very... Agnosious? Agnosious? I don't know, know the English word. I just tried to kind of come up with something that sounded right, but... <laughs> um, oh dear goodness, I just... Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I just tried to come up with something that sounded right. Anyway, the, the whole Steve Factory Manager thing was a cool idea, but it didn't work out. So I had to switch it out for extra utilities. And I thought I'd show you this because I didn't know this. And the guys on the fan server here... Um, help me out and I'm ever so grateful for that, but basically I did extra utilities. One thing that is very important, muy importante, is that you snake. You see how I've done this here? You have to kind of do this with your pipes, otherwise it messes up. And then inside here I've installed a stack upgrade, I've installed a speed or a few speed upgrades and a breadth first upgrade, uh, search upgrade. Um, the stack upgrade I believe will move... <laughs> We'll move a full stack at the time. Mm -hmm. So if I put in that, it will go away. The speed upgrades will quicker find the inventory that it matches. And the breadth first upgrade will search uh, the network. As I understand it, it will search the closest barrel or chest first. Now the good thing with extra utility sorting is that I can use these mod sorting pipes or just regular yellow one sorting pipes on chests and what will happen is if I have a sorting pipe on here it will only put items that are already in the chest in that chest so a block of redstone will go there watch this actually I can do this I have I have linked it up to my ender pouch so boop see that so that will now go in here in a second there we go um, and that's what I was missing with Steve's Factory Manager. And I thought that was an option with Steve's Factory Manager, but I guess not. So this is how we're doing it. Uh, the, the mod sorting pipes will put anything that has the same mod. Even if you put multiple different mods like I have here. Mine Factory Reloaded, Big Reactors, Ender.io. All of those mod items will go into this uh, chest as I. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. I thought I'd show you that update. Uh, so today, what are we going to do today? Well... We ought to fix this. This uh, We gotta prettify this. Look at the jungle grass though. Oh, it's so pretty. Or tropics grass. Yes, tropics grass. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, but I wanna fix this today. I know we're not gonna- we're not gonna stick here forever in the base. Trust me. But, seriously, I need to get everything, you know, sorted. Okay? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna prettify this today. Hopefully, we'll get to make some tinkers tools, some some uh, weapons, and make a bow. I've got some requests on actually showing you how to make like the best bow. So I think it's time I attend to that. We may do that today if there's time. Um, another thing I want to do. You know how Etho? If you watch Etho, he has like a creeper face. It's his signum of his man cave. I have the portal over there, so I want to do something similar. But not use lava, use some modded liquid instead. Um, so that's another thing I want to do. So prettification, um, <laughs> portal fixing, and hopefully some tinker tools is on the agenda. First though, I'm on TeamSpeak here. I'm going to unmute the guys. And the first thing we are going to do is to sort out a mod, uh, sorry, a, a ore smelting system. So this room over here will act as our smelting system. Oh, I had a creeper explosion here, didn't I? I didn't fix that. Dang it. Mm, I'll fix it soon. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to have this room as my kind of smeltery, smeltery room and we'll do some something pretty in here. 
Um, we have the power source up there, so we need to bring... Here's how it works. Any items that do not have a destination at the moment will end up in this diamond chest. From here, I want to move all the ores that we can smelt uh, or double into the smeltery room. And then I want to move them back to be sorted as ingot form. As you can see, I have all the ingots, right? And I have some more over here. Uh-huh. So, let's start with that. But let's unmute TeamSpeak. Let's see. We got... Uh, yeah, let's just see how this goes. TeamSpeak here a minute. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I should push uh, push to talk. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Hey, let's go. Who do we got on the call? We got Joe Mama and... Skulda's here. Skulda, Joe. Hi. What are you guys working on? I'm I just, am... I'm loading ahead. my game up in a minute. Alright. I'm eager to get back on, I can assume. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we got Alex as well. Hi, Alex. Hey. -o. How are you doing, buddy? Very good. Awesome. I am setting up a ore smeltery double thing which will carry items from my super advanced extra utility sorting system through inventory cables and then double my ores. I am working on my base still, guys, and I know that, but you know, I gotta get my foundation together before I can do community builds. One question. Mm hmm. Does the storage system work yet? <laughs> yeah, yes, finally. Oh my goodness, it works. Uh, the guys, YouTube YouTube viewers, you don't know this, but I had some issues with extra utilities. I told you earlier in the video, I think it was Joe and, well, it was a collaborative helping Eastcal moment where you taught me extra utility sorting. <laughs> I don't want to use AE though. Don't, don't be mad. We're not mad. I'm glad. All right, so the idea here, guys, is that we will use this inventory cable to transfer the items. So we are, in fact, going to use this factory manager a little bit. We're actually going to use it quite a bit also in this storage system. It's just the, the man or the kind of auto sorting will, will be through extra utilities. Mm -hmm. Who just joined? Skolda. Okay, you're, all, you're already on here. Well, he was. <laughs> well, I am. I'm just waiting for, still the here. Yeah. waiting for the computer to catch up. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do this on camera, I think, because this is going to be pretty easy, just to demonstrate. We are going to set the sag mill, which is going to be pulverizing stuff for us, right? We're going to set the bottom of that to pull. Uh-huh. And then we're going to set the side of it to push. And then this alloy smelter will have the side as pull. Uh huh, and the bottom as push. Okay, then in Steve's factory manager. Um, so we're gonna do a Steve's factory manager thing here. And guys, don't be afraid of, of talking. In case I'm I'm just gonna be talking here with you guys. It's kind of fun to to hear what you guys are up for. But uh, uh, I'll I'll do this a trigger, and then we want this to occur. Let's say every every ten seconds would be good. And from here, we're going to create an input, and we're going to grab that diamond chest over at the storage system. We're going to say up, that's fine, and we're going to whitelist all the ores. So for testing, I'm going to do iron ore, and let's say we do copper. Why not? Mm -hmm. And then on some of these, for example, copper, I think we need to right-click and then switch this over to ore dictionary support. Otherwise, uh, it will only pick up the thermal foundation one. Do you guys use uh, uh, Steve's Factory Manager for, for for moving items around at all, or no? You're all Applied Logistics fans? No, no, no. I, I like I like SBM. I haven't given it a go, to be honest. All right. Yeah, only a crazy person. To it's do that. great. It's great for doing <laughs> things like with the with making the uh, fertile soil, like we did at the farm, and uh, exactly, yeah, things like that. I really like it. I mean, it's so it's, it's it's it looks very terrifying when looking at it the first time, right? But once you get into it, it's so good. Um, all right, so one important step here, guys, is that I use the target down. I think that's going to be correct on the sag mill, but let's just try it out. Let's put the trigger to one second for testing purposes, and we should see some sort of yes. Look at that. Our iron ore is moving over. It's ending up here now. What I want to do over here is probably, because now we need to put it back in the, um, 
in the ender chest and we could just hmm how are we for space underneath you know what we could pull an inventory cable back yeah let's do that let's do that we're using this factory manager anyway so my ideas guys i don't know if you you saw episode four probably the other day uh but my idea is to or was to use this factory manager for sorting entirely but as you know <laughs> we had issues with that so and i'm talking to you on team speak now <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a new experience for all of us. You don't have to be sorry. The guys yeah, we are... don't know. If we, we don't know if he's if he's talking to the viewers or if he's talking to yeah, us. Or we're just kind of we're just kind of sitting here following along with them, and so <laughs> exactly. You know, we, we're we're all in the learning per, uh, process here. Okay, so now what we can do is say let's create another trigger. I may change this later. Let's put this as well to every one second. Then let's go input, and we're just going to do the reverse. So we're going to grab the alloy smelter, target down, uh huh, and then any item will go. Very aguda. And then let's create an output over here. And that's going to be the ender chest now that we just hooked up. Any direction on this one goes. And then blacklist, fine. Now, before I connect that, let's have a look. We have 12 ingots. Very good. And let's just do trigger. Boom. That should move. Aha. Uh -huh. Very good. And I don't think we can see it, but it should have moved over here. Oh, you saw the smooth stone there. That was from the alloy smelter. So that is working beautifully. A little bit of fine tuning will be necessary here. I don't want the stupid cobblestone to get jamming the system. So I may actually do something like this. On my input here, I'll put a blacklist for cobblestone. Uh huh. Very good. So now we won't pick that up, and then we need to deal with it. And we could just do, you know, I'm not one for saving items. I'll get, I'll have plenty. Uh, so I'm gonna grab the. <laughs> I'll have plenty of kills. <laughs> See what I did there? I kind of included you. Um, I'm gonna put a trash can. Are you guys fans of trash cans? Then. Oh yes. yes. Everyone trash likes games. a good trash can, right? That's what I'm missing in vanilla. Um, all right, so we're gonna do that. We also need an item filter So what are you guys projects? Have you I, I'm curious because we're we're looking at doing community builds, right? Right eventually, but there is gonna be a time where everyone kind of just want to set up their own base. Don't you agree? Yes, well, yeah, that's uh -huh. kind of what we're doing now. It's gonna be difficult for us to do the really cool community builds without yeah, getting ourselves built up first Exactly. You want to have a good system. You want to be able to go mine or put a quarry up and make sure that you like, you're not lacking. Oh, what am I doing? You're not lacking um, iron if you need iron, etc. Right? So. Exactly. Yeah. See, guys, it makes sense. They are agreeing with us. We need to get this basics up before we can do cool community builds. But I got some plans, and I know that Skittles, who's on the call, you're building a arena. Yep. There will be PvP, huh? PvP uh, indeed. I'm a you have to build it now. I think there's exactly. plenty, of, plenty of PvP already. <laughs> I will... You know what? Yeah. But you know what I'll do in that PvP arena? I'll smack you up. <laughs> I'll quote you to that. Oh, I thought we were going to have to set a throne up for Iskal to... Oh yeah, you watch. will. You will, but I'll earn that throne. I'll make sure to earn that throne. All right, so I'm whitelisting cobblestone this way, right? So any excess cobblestone should go directly into the trash can. And boom, we should have a working function. Now all I need to do... Actually, here's the thing. Um, mm -hmm. We could... I'll set up another filter from the sag mill as well. And we will have... Yeah, I'll, I'll set up a filter for cobblestone here immediately. That way no cobblestone will get moved over. Let me actually move this. I don't know if I will be needing to. Oh, that's bad. Um, let's disable you for now. I don't want to throw away my alloys. Put you in there, and you're always active whitelisting cobblestone. See? Cobblestone got pulled out, and we should be good. This is a system. All I need to do now is to put all the ores in here, and then I have an ore smelter system. As for design with this place, I want it to look like a big furnace. 
somehow. So I'm gonna try to make that. I'm gonna sketch a little bit here off camera because I don't really have a plan for it other than I want it to look like a furnace. Um, so I'll, I'll get to it. Okay, so you're making an ore processing system with Steve Spectre Manager, is that right? That is correct, sir. Mm -hmm. So we could probably do something similar to that, even though we're doing applied energetics on our our input, filtering out the ores. Yep, so absolutely, and, and, and you'd save channels, right? So Exactly. It's not a that's, bad idea. That's what, that's what I was thinking. Okay, um, cool. I'm just thinking what I should do with diamond ore and stuff that I don't want to smelt. I probably, yeah, I'll probably need another sag mill. Or, here's another cool thing. I wonder if it will move. Do you guys know if it will move diamonds from the sag mill over to an alloy smelter and let them sit there? Or will they just kind of hang out in the, in the sag mill? They'll hang out in the sag mill. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so based on that information, guys, here's, <laughs> here's, what, here's what we can do. <laughs> we can take so this guy throws it to the segment right okay um if we create yeah let's create another input on this and let's say inventory sagmill so this is an in input now and then down and then we'll go <laughs> i like this Problem. what are you guys Problems. laughing at um prop somebody's having problems all right, I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, it's not me. And then we're going to output that immediately back to the ender chest. Target up, that's fine. And blacklist, okay? So that's going to be there. Boom, boom. Now, any diamonds that goes in here, we can't really test it. Well, we could do this. Let's just give it a second. Uh-huh. They should be immediately put back to the system. Let's see our barrel. 58. You saw that? Can I zoom? Look at this go up now to 60. Boom. That's how we deal with everything that can't be smelt. Okay, so I, I have a little bit of work cut out for me here. Um, is there anything you guys want to wanna say to the crowd? I can't think of anything. I just want to come over and take a look at your at your build there, so I can get some, so I can steal your ideas. You are welcome, sir. I like people stealing my ideas. It means that they are good, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So you guys are out at what's the biomass name? All oh, the crag. I'm gonna build a magnetic magnetic force. Right click, and do I teleport to you, Joe? Yes. Uh-huh, here we go. Oh, it's the particle effect. Do you see this? Do you see me coming? Uh, yeah, I see the particles all around me. Here we go. Oh, okay. It's this ugly one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stupid color. This is the 80s color. This and pink. I tell you, this and pink will turn into uh, the, the old ladies in the 80s. Uh, but, so this is where we are going to build our playland, is it? Oh, it looks pretty cool. I love the formations in these things. I don't like the green, the ugly green, but I love the formations. Yeah, no, me too. And if you go over it with a one of equal trade, you know, you can make magic happen. It would take forever to do that, but yes, you could. Well, we got forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it sure looks pretty. I turned off night vision just to get the full um, effect, I guess. Yeah, effect. And it's pretty. And it's pretty flat here as well. So this is where we could set it up. Yeah, and it, you got like the, the mountains all around it here. So you, it's kind of like a... It would actually make for a good arena. Oh, yeah, true. I want to build a roller coaster in this biome, though, for sure. Like, could you imagine having rail carts going across, kind of flying in the air, you know, doing all kind of loop a loop, loop a loop? Can't do that in Minecraft. You crazy? You think I'm? <laughs> you think I'm some kind of dumb idiot? And then go through these tunnels or whatever. Exactly, and and even dig like yeah. Oh man. Just make it crazy, like. I remember playing early Minecraft when Railcraft, uh, or not Railcraft, when Minecarts was in there. 
I was playing with my friends and one of my favorite thing I used to do when we had a multiplayer server was build a track that ended with you dying, <laughs> being, you know, <laughs> big drop off. And I'd put a sign and it would say, gotcha. Do something nice. similar, only remove the dying part maybe and then use railcraft. Maybe. Maybe keep the dying part in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does sound quite Well, good. then you can throw in like the ender tracks or whatever they're they are so make it look like the cart's about to go into lava or something like that and then it teleports you very cool yeah guys what do you think this is definitely a project right i'm speaking with the youtube commentators now let me know and also what i would not what i would like to see i know a lot of you out there are awesome at ideas that we know have any of you built any like roller coaster because it's a pretty common thing i would think on a multiplayer server so if you've built it let me know tell me the story be a little storytelling mm -hmm. oh my goodness time really flies when you're having fun we're almost out of time here today uh before we are though i want to i really want to get this room kind of finished today i want to get like the design this is super cool oh i love that that's so pretty but i want to get it all like pretty fied and some functions to it as well that I haven't mentioned, but that I've thought about. <coughs> it's really late, by the way. <laughs> Everyone's gone to bed. Mm -hmm. uh, so let me let me in on a, a piece of my mind here. I want when we have this open. I want a crafting table to appear there. We can do that with a drawbridge. Check this out. A drawbridge with a crafting table in it will eject it. Right. Uh, we could also do it with. Um, with uh, frames, the funky locomotion, and we could make like a cool thing appearing in the middle, but I think for now this is what we'll do. We'll do a crafting table appearing there, and I kind of like it in the ground, you know? Gives me free sight and easy to access, etc, etc. Uh, then these chests, ideally I would like them to come up here using funky locomotion, and I could do that, so like we could have one chest coming up there, oops, there, Get out of here, stupid piece of woo. Another chest coming out there, so input and output. Uh, but that's nothing I will do today. Today I'll probably just do like hiding them here and then having a drawbridge here. I love my drawbridges. Uh, it's just a thing that I feel Etho would use a lot anyway. So, you know, we, we better stick with, with a plan. Um, yep. Yeah. So something like that there. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I want to try something with you guys here. Let's see. Can we do two elevators? We can, for sure. But I wonder if the drawbridges would work, because that would be kind of cool. Uh, I'm thinking upstairs, uh, that we do an upstairs here, and that that would be like our, uh, what, what shall I call it? Bedroom slash regear room. We'd put like, I was thinking about these and then have like our extra extra tools and that kind of stuff on it that's my pickaxe hey i put i put the axe there you saw it mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll put those up there and maybe also some drying racks to make it pretty um and armor stands and that kind of stuff uh, and a bed obviously and i'm thinking up on this thing here would be would be good but the entrance to it would be kind of locked unless you have the item room open so to get there i want to try something that i'm not sure if it will work it should but yeah let's just say that we have an elevator there for now okay what i want to know is if i take a drawbridge put an elevator in yep that works oh that is that is a that worked beautifully wasn't that good? That was excellent. Oh my goodness. All right. So we got that going for us. Um, then over here, I actually dug this area out now off camera. Check it out. I like how I'm using these. Uh, I like how I'm. That sounded so bad. But I like how I'm using these uh, kind of cobblestone foundation for any area that would be kind of built up. I do it. Uh, I do it over here behind and I do it over here. And I think that looks really pretty, like, specifically when the mountain go rapid, r rapid around, like as all. Um, but up here, I'm thinking I'll move the smeltery station to over here, so we'll have, like, a tinker's area up here. Uh, mm -hmm. Unless I put it in the bedroom. 
Oh, I may put it in the bedroom, actually. That would make sense. Have tinkers and, you know, like we have in survival stories kind of place. place. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll be working off camera. I'm not sure about the style of this room yet, but I'll, I'll be doing a lot of this off camera. I want to show you the technical parts of it. We'll come back, have a look, and then we'll have to close off the episode. Give me a second. All right, so let's just, before I, before I put the sign on this thing, let's actually uh, wire the middle part here together, because that could be interesting for you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the idea is, if we close this now, I have two drawbridges here that will close the middle. Okay, and then we're going to use these two for the elevator and the crafting table. So, um, let's see if we can wire this. Underneath, underneath, I am... We have the wire here. Uh, we're gonna go with... Uh, let's see... <laughs> I did do crafting, didn't I? Yeah, I'm gonna go with a repeater. I'm gonna need an invert cell. Because remember, we need to invert... Can I do something like, like this, maybe? Um, hmm, that's not good. So an invert cell will take a a positive redstone signal, or it will invert the redstone signal, I should say. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna put some covers here, so that cables do not connect, and my, my inverted signal is the B signal here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay. That affects the drawbridge, huh? Well, we can fix it. Let's do this then. Let's put it over there. Cable there. Very good. Then, what we're gonna need is a repeater. Actually, let's change this out for a repeater. Because we want this thing to be delayed, right? So when you open it, it should be delayed. However, that should only be on the opening. Oh, boy, man, I may have not thought this through. <laughs> uh, let's just do this for now. Okay, let's do that. Very, uh, very uh, good. And uh. uh, now, the question is, can I... Hmm... Will you extend? No, you won't. Okay. Okay, okay, that's not good. Here, let's try... Put you there. Will you be sucked in? Nope. No, you won't. Okay. Um... Yeah, I didn't test this. I want to test it together with you guys. It should be something we could do, though. Let's do that, just to reset it. Uh, and let's get the crap out of here. Oh my goodness. This place! I need to fix, like, the basement there, so we have a proper wiring area. Okay, so now... Oh, that actually worked! That's weird. Looks a little bit weird, but it actually works for some reason. I would have thought that I would have in needed to invert the repeater on the signal, but we'll go with this. So then, it's just a question now of putting an elevator in this one. Uh-huh, we should be good. All right, everybody. Check this out. Now, ain't that a beauty? Mm-hmm. Oh, I just love this. Got a little uh, upstairs bedroom. Up here, very small, very cozy, doesn't have to be bigger. I uh, got a few armor stands, armor stand up, that I can shift right click to gear and ungear. That is because I'm using a redstone. In case you didn't know, I'll show you. I'll show you. If you power these, uh, or if you have redstone underneath them, a torch, for example, or a cable like so, um, then you can shift right click to equip, de equip whatever's on the armor stand. Thought that was a cool thing. Uh, down here, I, I did start to put a little bit of leaf work in, and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a little bit like my vanilla series where I'm building a jungle temple, but uh, it's fun to play with a little bit of different leaf material, or um, block material, like, like this cobble that doesn't exist in, in vanilla, and it looks really great with the leaves. So we've got a little bit of area here, walking down in. Got the eye up there, open and, open and close. I just love it. I, I can't help it, guys. I love building this base. Uh, I didn't move the Tinker stuff yet. It's so dark. I didn't move that yet. Uh, but I, I have to go now, so I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Don't you worry. I'll do that sometime. Um, but one thing that I wanted to try with you guys before I let you go 
is I'm not entirely happy with the whole iron bar thing. So I wanted to try to put leaves here. Because the only thing that is bad now, I have glowstone behind here. Uh huh. And then I've done cover, so it looks pretty. Uh, but the only thing that that's not like in ethos space, and it doesn't have to be, don't get me wrong. But it was a thing that I was planning was to have light uh, or the, the room to light up when I opened it. Now, we can't do that if we're using leaves or bars. Then we'd have to use a full block. But what we could do is that I could make these into redstone lamps that power on and off instead. Actually, I just got that idea. That's not a bad idea. But let's try this with leaves anyway. See if it looks better than the bars. Oh, I think that is pretty cool. I think that is pretty cool. I don't know about you guys. Oh, I like that. Oh, I think I like that more than the iron bars. Well, it's a little bit too much, maybe. Maybe. I think I'll leave it for now and you, you let me know down below what you think about the leaf. But it looks kind of cool. Uh, I do need to practice my waterfall skills, uh, but uh, other than that, I'm very, very happy with this. Very, very happy and I think like I want to go this overgrown style I just I just want I just want to am I in one of your episodes of this server well now you are <laughs> now you are it's been quiet for like an hour um, time and all right anyway thank you guys so much for watching I just lost my, my thought there thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you have enjoyed it if you have go ahead and hit the like button it really helps me out and I love you for it and uh, I guess, you know, we'll see each other in the next episode.